Hey, uh, welcome to back to our channel and uh, we just want to share with you what happened to me last time. Uh, I noticed that there's a uh, uh, bad fuel consumption and the engine hesitation on my uh, this uh, Corolla uh, 4AF engine and uh, what, what happened to me last time is like there's this one morning when I uh, started my engine it was uh, just a normal co cold start and normally my Corolla will just uh, run like uh, just like a modern car uh, modern normal car but I uh, I was surprised it hesitated especially when it uh, like you're already in motion uh, first gear and then second gear uh, the engine hesitates uh, that's why that's what I remember uh, I think I, 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 I was about to have uh, run some errands that morning so I really felt weird because although this car is really old but I never experienced that only that time and the uh, good thing uh, is that uh, the muffler uh, I always clean the muffler tip or the exhaust at the back and uh, yeah it really hesitates uh, especially when the aircon uh, or the AC is on it hesitates really so I, I remember I was driving that time I needed to turn off the the AC because I'm just you know paranoid my it might stall and you know I won't be able to make it to where I was supposed to go to yeah, just like what I mentioned, it's a good thing I always clean the muffler tip because it's really important to always clean your muffler tip, your exhaust, uh, the back, because uh, you all be, you'll be always be able to see or observe uh, 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 whatever your muffler looks like. And I notice it, there's a suit. Uh, like, uh, is that how you call it? Suit? Some suit or carbon on muffler tip that I always uh not normally or usually see in my muffler uh because yeah just like what i said i always clean it every time i wash this car after you inspect your muffler tips there's carbon so i already saw it the next thing that i check you might also want to check your uh, uh uh spark plug this is the use uh used uh spark plug and voila you will see Toyota, huh? I'm not sure if it's a real Toyota. It's uh, for 4AF. We always use the Denso QJ 16ARU dash U, whatever. And voila. There's you, you'll see the carbon, right? I know most uh, car guys or experts, uh, mechanics, they will say, "Ooh, that's rich," right? This is how they call it. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just you know a car enthusiast. There, carbon, filled with carbon, suit. So I can assume whatever it is that how your muffler tip looks like, that's how your spark plugs look like. So too much carbon, it means that spark plug doesn't burn uh, the excess fuel. I hope I was able to say the correct uh, term or way. Yeah. What I learned from the internet, from Google or YouTube, uh, rich means uh, it's not burning uh, the excess fuel or it burns too much or there's not too much uh, uh, electricity flow okay so however uh, before this I just want to share with you to give you an idea uh, you can't blame the carburetor uh, carburetor or the carb all the time because uh, if we diagnose our cars, you need to look past what are the maintenance that you made or you did with your car. So uh, actually, I was like, oh, I just uh, serviced or maintained my car uh, with my carb technician like months ago. So uh, I'll be sure it's not the carb. And I also just changed my fuel filter. So we put those things aside, not the carb, not the fuel filter. It's new. I also changed the air filter. Be because just like what I said, it's more fuel, less air. So uh, there's two or three or four percent, if you like, of uh, uh, development after changing the air filter, because air, air and uh, fuel should be balanced. Then after that, 
uh, I changed the uh, I also replaced the dun, 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 dun. there's also quite a development when I changed the uh, high tension wire really big development and a uh, good thing uh, I didn't buy the spark plugs new spark plugs yet first because it's also a good thing that I have uh, I didn't uh, throw away throw away the used spark plugs before so I replaced uh, this the faulty spark plugs I knew it was faulty because wh when I tried the the old ones the old spark plugs I was like oh I just try and see if this is the you know this is the fault here uh, it's just a spark plug and I showed you uh, the spark plug that we just removed from my engine uh, it has good burn that's the, the perfect burn no carbon uh, it should be brownish that's that's a very good or optimized should we say optimized uh, burn of fuel in your engine should be uh, if that's how your spark plug looks like then you have fuel efficiency uh, power is good uh, muffler tip no carbon so it should be like that. Actually, I just want to share with you, I also ordered uh, a rotor. I'm not sure if ha that's how you call it, the distributor rotor. It turns. If you take off the uh, distributor cap, there's a rotor. In this 4AF, it's color orange. I think the original is color black. Yeah, you might also want to change that. Uh, so it's not always been the, the carb. You always have to look at the uh, electricity or the electric that flows. So we were able to uh, buy spark plugs for 4AF. It should be this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it from Ace Hardware. It's just uh, yeah, roughly 700 uh, pesos. Yeah. Um, it's also pre-gap. You don't have to you know adjust the gaps in these spark plugs. It's just both on on your 4AF and the equivalent spark plugs if you don't see the if you can't find uh denso qj116aru there's the equivalent at the back you'll see uh, ngk it's bcre527y champion fn14ly at the back you'll see it oh, and also uh don't forget to check uh, the ignition timing uh, we also have a video of that here in our channel uh, how to you know uh, uh, set the proper ignition timing for Corolla 4AF without timing light. Uh, you might I also checked that, but however, it's yeah everything's okay because it's just a one click start. So I suppose timing's good. And uh, all right, to sum up this uh, video, I just want to share with you. This is just if you notice, it's just a really short video. I'm not used to uh vlogging like me speaking all the time talking all the time um it's just that i, I just want to share with you my experience if you uh, experience or, or have this kind of situation that your engine hesitates um i even uh, also checked the uh, air aircon idle up uh it's also a good thing i have a reserve aircon idle up so it's that's not the uh faulty here i had a wrong diagnosis so you you need to check the electricity flow uh change the high tension wire and spark plugs and also the rotor uh, air filter uh clean your carb i hope that this is really helpful with you and uh, uh please don't forget to give us some love and uh, subscribe and like our channel if you have some comments or questions just comment down below and that's that's all we got for now. Uh, we'll see you next uh, next time.